Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about formulas. Now, there's two different ways in which this is going to be presented to you on an exam paper. Uh, the first way is you're going to be given some values and you have to calculate something. The second way is you're given a word problem and you have to develop a formula and then calculate something. So in this particular video we're going to start talking about just being given a formula and a couple of values and calculating something. And if you look at the next video, that will show you how to develop from word questions. So let's look at um, a formula that's used quite a lot in physics will be D equals UT minus 5T squared. OK, um, I can't quite remember what these stand for, but it's distance equals something times time. Um, and perhaps if somebody can leave a comment, let me know what U stands for. That would be very helpful. Um, however, for the purposes of this particular video, uh, you're going to be given two values. One for U and one for T. And the value for U is 14. And the value for T is minus 3. And what they want you to do is to calculate the value of D. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to substitute these numbers into the formula. Now it's a really good idea to use brackets for these kind of questions because it will help you to keep everything together and to make sure that you always use um, operations like bid mass in the correct order. Um, lots of people come across this term bid mass. Uh, I'll just put it here up on the board, bid mass. Um, okay, and what it is is the order of operations. It's not entirely true to write it like that. Um, it is actually a little bit better to write it as bid mass. Okay, and the reason we do that is because division and multiplication should be carried out at the same time as, uh, and addition and subtraction should be carried out at the same time. And I just think sometimes that implies that division comes before multiplication. It doesn't. It comes together with multiplication. Okay, so back to this particular formula, and I've got a value of u as 14, so I'm going to write that as 14 times t which is minus 3 and then on this side I've got minus 5 and I've got t squared so that's minus 3 squared okay and again as I mentioned before it's good for you to just to keep things in brackets it'll make things a little bit easier for you okay so on this side I've got 14 times minus 3 so what I'm going to do is just a very quick calculation to make sure that this is correct um, and I'm going to do that on the side I've got 14 times 3 3 times 4 is 12 1 to carry fourth, uh, 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 so the answer is 42 now when you're doing your um, exams it's always good to have an area set aside for calculations make sure your calculations are very clear so that people can see what it is you've done and also make sure that you've got them clearly so you're not repeating or over calculating um, later on in uh, the questions. Okay, so 14 and it's got minus 3 here. Mustn't forget it's minus 3. So that's going to be now minus 42. On this side I've got minus 5. Now minus 3 squared is minus 3 times minus 3. So a minus times a minus is a positive. So 3 times 3 is 9. So I've got minus 5 times 9. Okay, so here we have minus 42 and then we've got minus 5 times positive 9. Well a minus times a positive number is a minus number so it's going to be minus. 5 times 9 is 45 so minus 45. So the answer to uh, this particular calculation using these values is going to be D equals minus 42 minus 45, which is, um, again, you've got to remember these things, are, the way I do it is to use a thermometer. So you've got a thermometer here, and we've got minus 42 there, 
and it gets colder by minus 45. So it's going to get colder and the value I've got at the bottom here will be minus 87. So the value of D is minus 87 for this calculation. So this would be something like a grade C, grade D question. Uh, it's relatively straightforward providing you make sure that you do things in accordance with bid mass and also uh, keep things in brackets and it's also, also very useful like it is in all algebra to uh, keep the equals sign straight down the page if you can. And if you look at the next video that will tell you a little bit about how to develop these sorts of equations from word problems. If you subscribe to the channel uh, you'll be, um, I think you get sent an email when a new video comes out or you can have a look at mathrap.co.uk.